IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, this is Ian Cull, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on lead. Lead is the heavy metal found on the periodic table of the elements. Lead is naturally occurring in soil and water, typically found as a lead compound instead of a metal. It's been used in a variety of products. Lead was once common in paints, gasoline, pipes, and ceramic glaze. It's still used in the production of batteries, ammunition, welding materials, and x-ray shields. Consumer Reports has published articles regarding the presence of lead in children's toys, folk medicine, and even fruit juice. Although lead has been banned from most household items, it may still find its way indoors. Of all the products that may have lead content, lead-based paint is typically the most important from an indoor air quality perspective. Lead was used in paint for centuries because of its favorable characteristics, such as durability and weather resistance. Lead was banned from paint in the U.S in 1978 because it causes a wide range of health effects. Even at relatively low concentrations in a child's blood, it can cause learning and behavioral problems. You see, children are especially susceptible to lead. One factor is their increased exposure because they're more likely to crawl on their hands and ingest the lead dust on the floor. Another factor is that children's bodies absorb much more ingested lead when compared to adults. Also, their smaller bodies mean that children get a larger dose when based on a milligram of toxin per kilogram of body weight. Exposures often happen during renovation, repair, and painting activities. Cutting, sanding, and grinding may cause an increased exposure to lead dust. For this reason, the EPA enforces regulations that require health and safety precautions when dealing with lead. If you have a concern about lead, you should find a state licensed professional to perform an evaluation.